Are you struggling with an error in your Android Room database? It can be really frustrating when everything seems right, but you still encounter issues. If that's you, stick around, because today we're going to solve the problem of bind variables in your queries. I totally understand how annoying it is when you think you've done everything correctly, only to be met with an error message. You're not alone in this. Many developers face similar challenges when working with Room and Kotlin. Let's dive into the specific issue at hand. One user recently asked, why am I getting the error that each bind variable in the query must have a matching method parameter? They provided their DAO code, which looks good at first glance, but the error message suggests there's a mismatch. Sound familiar? Let's figure this out together. So what could be causing this error? The message indicates that the method parameter for the bind variable is missing. In this case, the parameter named country ID is not being recognized correctly in the generated code. Let's break it down step by step. And don't go anywhere. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand the error, but also how to fix it effectively. Trust me, you won't want to miss this. To address the user's issue, we first need to ensure that the method parameter in the DAO interface matches the bind variable in the query. The user has a method named load country that takes country ID as a parameter. Next, the user should verify that the parameter name in the method signature is exactly the same as the bind variable in the query. In this case, the parameter is named country ID, which is correct. If the user is still encountering the error, they should check for any potential issues in the generated code. The generated method should use the parameter correctly. Finally, if the user has updated their room library or plugins, they should rebuild the project. This can resolve issues related to outdated generated code. Fun fact, did you know that Room is built on top of SQLite? It simplifies database interactions in Android, but sometimes it can throw unexpected errors like this one. It's all part of the learning process. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution from another user suggests that the error may occur after changing or adding methods in the DAO interface or entity classes. They resolve the issue by cleaning and rebuilding the project. Let's check out another perspective from a different user. An alternative solution to the bind variable issue in Android Room is to update your dependencies specifically using version 1.1.3 E85 along with Kotlin capped can resolve this problem. That's all on that answer. Let's take a look at another one. An alternative solution from another user highlights that the issue arose because the DAO and database files were in different modules. They resolved the error by placing all room related files in the same module. That wraps up that answer. Let's move on to another one. An alternative solution provided by a user suggests that the issue may be resolved by updating to Kotlin Gradle plugin version 1.13. This version appears to fix the problem with bind variables in queries. Let's move forward and look at another answer. An alternative solution provided by a user suggests that this issue is resolved in the Kotlin plugin version 1.1.3 EAP85. However, since this version is not publicly available, you will need to download it from a private repository instead of JCenter. In your build.gradle file, you should specify the Kotlin version and include the necessary repositories. This will help ensure that you can access the updated plugin. Here's a pro tip. Always double check your method parameters and query bindings. This habit can save you a lot of time and headaches in the long run. And there you have it. You should now have a clearer understanding of how to resolve the bind variable error in your Android Room queries. If you found this video helpful, please hit the subscribe button for more tips and tricks. And remember, every error is just a stepping stone to becoming a better developer.